Yeah, man, you're, hey. yeah, you're laughing. Hey, hey, that was, see, you know, I remember my, my friend, the late prophet, Charles Krumo. Please permit me. Sister Tina, are you there? Just, Charles Krumo came to my heart. Sister Tina, you are there? Just Krumo came. Yes. I want you to help me you sing me one Ghanaian worship song to the honor of my friend, the late prophet Charles Krumo. Is the reason why men people call me man of God. So please sing for me any Ghanaian song. May his soul rest in peace. His mission was very short. I can never forget this man. He was down to earth. He loved God with his heart. Did what it was. I'm happy in heaven. Sister Tina, you'll sing me a Ghanaian song. Thank you. Abandoned in you, yeah. Umona, you bless you. That voice is such a blessing. I thank God for you. I thank God for this privilege. And I thank God for my late prophet Charles Krumo. 
It's a man who loved me without reason. He went through little time of hardship, but he served God with his heart. Before he departed in Miyama, I say, I have left you. The words he said is what I'm living to see. I remember he said, Ibrahim, you will not have problem. God have arranged everything. And I've really seen that. May God bless his soul. I think it's the right time, Ghanaian, you start planning to help me to find. I need to buy land in Ghana for the memory of this man. Praise God. Yes, we give glory to God Almighty. Abambandidi, what is it? I'll say it, I'll see. Thank you, good morning to all of you. And win today. I said to Emma, happy birthday. What a wonderful thing to celebrate your birthday. You're such a great man. I bless God. I honor all of you and I thank God for each one of you. It's such a blessing to be in your midst. My request is please get your Bible. I'm here to help you, help me. Praise God. Help me get your Bible. Say, Ibrahim, I've come again. Praise God. Say, Ibrahim, I've come again. This is a song that Holy Spirit wants me to sing. I am a soldier, soldier of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. I must conquer, say, a soldier, soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. We must conquer, a soldier, soldiers of the Lord, in the name of Jesus. We must conquer. Father, we are soldier in Jesus' name. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for this forum. Thank you for Wednesday, for you told me Wednesday will be holy in Miami. I thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. With all humility, we come before you, asking for mercy and forgiveness. May I be counted worthy, if I'm not worthy, Lord, so that when you come on that day, I may be among your people. Those under influence my voice, may you cause them to be worthy to you, O God. Have your way, Spirit of the living God. Speak through me. Take more of me and give me more of you. Holy Spirit, I decrease. May you increase. I dishonor myself that you may be honored. As I speak, Lord, show that what you have revealed this morning. Let men be healed. Let deliverance take place. I announce to demon, Satan, I am standing. If you are anywhere, just better leave before it is too late. I say to you, an unclean spirit, wherever you are, I stand in authority in the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost to command you wherever you are, live in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. I will say to us, have it in the table. Depending on the Spirit of God. Depending on the Spirit of God. To worship. To sing song. To preach. To cook. Depending on the Spirit of God to do everything. Praise be to God. I pray God help me to be very brief. Praise God. You will quickly go with me in John 15 verse 17. Depending on the Spirit of God. I'll quickly read from verse 7. King James. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what he will, and it shall be done unto you. This message is pregnant. Praise God. It's about to be delivered. Give me your heart. He said, this is Jesus speaking. Abide in me, and my words abide in you. He shall ask what he will, and it shall be done unto you. This means Christ and his word are one. Christ and his word are one. If then Christ and his word are one, the same as the Spirit of God and His Word of God, they are one. These two are inseparable. 
You can never separate the word of God from the spirit of God, Holy Spirit. Now here is the case. The only way the word of God can abide in our hearts is by studying or reading and acting on what we have read. Praise God. Meaning, obedience to the word, acting on what you have read. You may ask yourself, we are Christian, we pray things don't happen. It means there is a question mark in your Christianity as an individual. You may have, you may read the Bible, like some of you, you know the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. You have total knowledge of the Bible, but yet not converted. Why? You are you have good knowledge about the word, but you not you are not the doer. Praise God. That's why you see men and women can preach, can teach, but it doesn't assure you that they are converted. After preaching, after leaving the church, their lifestyle is totally different from what they are teaching. So it means they have not abided in the world. And that's what makes Christ being separate to many Christians today. You may have a very good total knowledge. You may have a theology. You may have... They may have maybe crowned you in any way. You may go to theology school you study. Bible is what you study. You may have very good knowledge about the Bible. But that does not mean you are converted until you obey what you read or what you teach others. Otherwise, you will just make noise. You will just teach people's history about Elijah, about Paul, about Jesus walking on the sea. That's why you see many of us today, we have become religious people. I'll come to that. You know why? Religious people are people whereby what your father worship, how your father worship to God. That's how you do. You have time to pray. You have the time to finish the service. All things you are programmed. Even what you want people to teach is there. So listen to my point, what I'm building. He has said, ye shall ask what will and it shall be given. The question is, many a times you ask and you don't receive. Why? The Christ's word is not in your heart. It is in your memory, in your mind. I have realized that when the word of God is in your heart, it will influence your character and behavior. You will automatically change. When I see a Christian struggling with the sin problem, I understand the word is in the memory not in the heart. Somebody will ask, how will I take the word of God in my heart? Through meditation. When you read the word of God and spend some minutes, meditate on what you have read, not thinking. You can think of your problem. You think about it. But meditation, it is a thing of heart. And we well know, the word of God can only dwell in our hearts, not our mind. But many of us here, the word is here. That's why you see you have a very good knowledge. If you can preach very good someone, you can tell people about Elijah, Elisha, fasting 40 days, 40 nights. Okay, ask yourself, if we want to say 40 days, can you walk? Jesus, the Bible says Jesus walk on the sea. Can you walk on the water? Can you walk on the sea as Jesus walked on the sea? We choose what is benefit us. And it has made everybody become a, a religious man. Praise be to God. So depending on God's spirit is reading the word of God and working or obeying or working on what the word says. It's just a waste of time. If I stand to tell people don't steal, but after forum I'm the one stealing. Think over that. So, here is the issue Christ is pointing. 
You will ask anything in my name and shall be given. So the question is, what hinders prayer not to be answered? Disobedience to the word. There is something that is very vital. Jesus is going to withhold the phenomenon of signs and wonder from church people until two things join together. I'll call them policy. Word and the Spirit of God, they have to join. Inseparable. In other words, the words that come out of my mouth, they, may be in, they must be in agreement with the words that are in my heart. If my mouth say be healed, and my mouth say I don't know if she will be healed, indeed she will not be healed. But if my heart say he be healed, and my mouth say so, I tell you, you will be healed. And that can only happen if you act on the word of God. Praise be to God. Listen. There are things that hinder man's prayer. One, disobedience. Two, doubt. Sin. I'll call pride. Pride can be for us many things. There are some things you just ignore. So until these, two, these various things have been dealt with, prayer cannot be answered. I would love to give you a very good picture. Open with me Ephesians 3.16. I'll start from 17. I want you to see something. First. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with mighty by his spirit in the inner man. Here Christ is talking about the inner man. I'll call it our heart, the spirit man. To be strengthened. How will the spirit of man be strengthened? By reading the word of God and acting on what you have read. That's why you see the Bible says that we teachers will be judged in high standard. You know why? I have realized many a times when I stand to preach. I often many times when I'm on my way walking, I hear myself speaking. So if you are a teacher and you are living in sin, I tell you, if you die, your preaching will not be remembered. We do not have excuse. We don't just preach. We live by example. That's what makes Christ dwell and show himself mighty in our lives. That's why you see we have millions of pastors everywhere. We have many churches everywhere. But God is not there. Why? We do, many do not act on the word. This morning I thank God. He revealed something to me. I saw I went to the crusade. A very crusade. Big crusade of a man of God. So I was not invited. I just went there. But to my surprise. Crusade was going on. But I see people coming to me. I should pray for them for healing. Then I say. Please. This is confusion. First listen to the man of God, then I will attend to you. Praise be to God. This made me understand the Lord said, son, I will heal. I will heal through you. I say, yeah. I say, I will heal you. you see, pa he said, I will see pastors. I will see, they will come to listen. But this can only happen if we act on what we preach. The history, man can never be made spiritual by just philo philosophy or theology. Man can be made spiritual by studying the word, acting on what he has read, and become his part lifestyle. Praise be to God. I thank God because of this. The relationship a man built between him and God, the reward is power and authority. The more you build a relationship with God, 
He will give you power and authority. When you say things, they happen. There is no shortcut over that. So it is my prayer to those who are under the influence of my voice. Build a relationship between you and God. Yes, it's good to have spiritual father and spiritual mother, but build your relationship and God. Because also that spiritual father also is building his relationship. Praise be to God. So as I continue, listen to what he said. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that he may be rooted and grounded in love. It means that Christ dwells in our heart. We know very well, if you understand, the Bible says, that, and the word became flesh. What does that mean? The word is Christ himself that became flesh. So the word of God dwells in our heart. Is Christ's personal being living inside you and I. To say be healed, that man to be healed. It will only happen by the equivalent of the Christ's personal being living inside your heart. Praise God. The Bible says, and the flesh became, and the word became flesh. John 1.14. Meaning, if the flesh became, if the word became flesh, it means the flesh, what he's talking about is Christ's personal being. The word was, the word was made flesh. Christ was made flesh in our heart, that Christ may dwell in our heart. But ask, ask yourself, your heart is too, is too overloaded with many trouble, envy, jealous, bitterness. Where will Christ live? He cannot be there. He's a landlord. When he comes in that heart, he takes over. So it is my prayer to those who listen to me. Please. Open your heart and Christ have a place to stay. Because he lives in our heart. He said through what? Faith. Love. The love that is where problem is. Praise be to God. I'll say this to us. When we obey the word what we have read, it activates the power that is in the word of God. This word, this Bible, you may have bigger than mine. It has power to heal. Every sickness you may mention, it has the power to deliver this word. But it will only happen when you, as an individual, you spend time and read it and obey what you read. If we depend on the Spirit of God, will be easily made spiritual. The Spirit of God will convince you many a times to live a repentant life. To really live a straight life. But many times as Christians, we become signposts. You show people the way to go, but you don't go. You are just there showing this is the way. Everyone who can meet you. It is my prayer, if you are a signpost, please stop being a signpost. Lead people, let people follow you. Why? Days are you. If we depend on the Spirit of God to teach, you will not come in front of people and preach against anybody. It's because we are religious people. Religious men are controlled by feelings, what they see. A spiritual man. You are led by the Spirit of God. Example, if I'm a spirit man, my portion of mission is great. I will not have jealousy, envy, and fighting people have in churches and home. Disagreement. Where you have a step to stand, you call this one is this. A spirit man, which means a spirit man fight with the spiritual being. Entities in the spiritual world, not human being. If you are a kind of person, either a man or woman, you fight your fellow brother, even in your home, you fight your children, at workplace you fight people, it means you are not yet converted. If I am a spirit, you hear men say, I am a spirit, 
Learning to live in the physical body. Learning to walk on the physical world. If I am a spirit, why will I fight physical being? Many are times because men are not controlled by the spirit of God. Depending on the spirit of God, they fight long battle. You have a dream about somebody. You wake up, you hate the man. You hate the woman. A spiritual man, you will come back and ask God, is it true, this man? It is my prayer to those who listen to me. Let us depend on God's spirit to worship. That's why you see, I'm really sorry, I'm a kind of person, if I'm coming to, to pray, you can, if you say this time, it's like it's better you don't call me to pray. Spirit of God, you don't give him time. Like you tell me, you pray five minutes. I say, it's better you don't call me. The spirit of God is not control, but it's in religion. They will say, five minutes, ten minutes, religion. That's why, you see, many times people are praying and say, okay, wait for me, I'm going to pray. How will you know when you are going to finish prayer? When is the spirit of God leading you? Let us be spiritual, listening to the spirit of God. If I'm a spirit man, I have no time to hate Jonathan. Why? I, in the spirit, I see Jonathan as my brother. I see him as my brother. There is no difference in the spirit. You heard when people say, when we die, are we going to be married again? They then say, no. Jesus said, no. When you rise, you'll be like angels, which means we are all the same. There is nothing like woman and man. This woman man is here on earth, in heaven. There is nothing like that. I say to you, a brother, a sister, you carry a grudge against a brother. You carry a grudge against a sister. Please, you are still a religious man. Better repent. Praise God. It is my prayer. Stop this unit in your homes, in your families, at workplace. You are a Christian, but you are the reason why people don't want to come to church. When people come close to you, they find out who really you are, they run away. I'll say this. Jesus said in Luke chapter 9 verse 23, If you will to follow me, carry your clothes daily. Deny yourself pleasures of heart. Deny yourself. Everybody wants to serve God. Are you ready to carry your cross? Are you ready to deny yourself? I tell you. We serve God by our, with our life. You think we serve, we serve God is by Bible. You serve, we serve God by our life. Be everything. You forget yourself. Why? This life we are in is not our own. Jesus, when Christ died, I would say, I died a thousand years ago. This life I live is no longer mine. So if I died thousands of years ago, why you think about a brother and sister what he's saying against you? If they say something, they are saying against Jesus. Praise God. So I say to us, my brothers, Christians, a wife, a husband, let go of things, offenses and malice. Let us come to true believer. By example, what we read in the church it's what we portray. I love to say to people. I no longer now preach my life preach. What does that mean? Let our life preach better someone. Praise God. I'll say this, Christian. I know everyone wants friends. It's good. But I say to you, I would better stand with God and every man be against me entire world when God is on my side than facing judgment. Otherwise, I would say, I would better face judgment with men to judge me all over the earth, point fingers. But when God called me on, then being with all men clapping for me, then face judgment in the eyes of God. Friends, relatives are good. But whatever they advise you, Come back to the Spirit of God and say, what does Ibrahim say? Is it true? Don't be carried out with what is happening. 
brethren. As I come to conclusion, I'll say this. My prayer is, live the life of your prayer. You stand and say, Father, I am tired of stealing. Then when you wake up, you are tempted to steal. Don't steal. I am tired of immorality. When you wake up in the morning, you want to be tempted. You say no to immorality. Live the life of your prayer. The same way I'll say, live the life of your teaching. If I am teaching, what I teach you is what I live. Why? God will confirm it by when I speak. He makes things happen. Praise be to God. My mission on earth, the Lord said to me, is to prepare people to the kingdom of God, heaven. That can only happen if we live in a repentant life. Let him who is lying stop lying. The one stealing stop stealing. Let us be pure in all we do. Spiritual men. We see things in the spirit. And you see an enemy today as a Messiah tomorrow. You see problem today as a solution tomorrow. A spirit man. Why? We are not controlled with the senses, eyes, ears. Not what we hear cannot move us. It's what our hearts hears from the Lord. Brethren, I say to us, if I say example, let me use my brother Pato because he's my personal person. I say here, Pato, I love you. But inside me, I say this man. And even I have guts to stand here and preach. I say to you, my dear, that is well. If I say I love Pato, let my love be sincere. We call, you know, we make a mistake. We call ourselves brethren in the forum. Are we really brethren? How many times have you stood and speak on my behalf? How many times have I stood and speak on your behalf? How many times am I in your prayer list? How many times you pray for somebody in the forum? We have time and season whereby unless we stand and say not to sin, we cannot stop the enemy because he's not sleeping. Satan is real. And if you're a Christian halfway the other way, he will devour you. We can only overcome Satan if we stand on the truth and say, yes, I am for Jesus, now forever. There's a song say, I have decided to follow you, Jesus, no turning back. Church is not a place for games. It's a suicide mission. I beloved, I say this, days are bad. That's why the Lord sent me to tell you, let you depend on the Spirit of God to worship Him. Depend on the Spirit of God to that marriage, that relationship. Depend on the Spirit of God to preach. If I just come on what I have thought and preach, it will not help you. But if I listen to what He says, then I tell you, you will, even I believe someone there, God is speaking to you. I'll say to you, Take this for Christ's sake and it will help you. I believe um, you will allow me to say a word of prayer because when you are born to pray, you cannot live without prayer. And most especially, I've been raised for this certain power to, to, to expose him. So stretch your hands with me as God bless his word. I'll speak a word. I want you to speak by yourself. For the Bible says in Matthew chapter 10, Jesus called the 12 disciples and gave them power over all demons. So I want you to open your mouth yourself. You know your behaviors. It's very pity if you are in our midst, you still do masturbation. You have a vibrator. You are a married woman, you have a man, have a boyfriend. You are a married man, you have a, a girlfriend. It's a pity. But I understand this is a spiritual thing. Every spiritual thing can be only taken away spiritually. Greed. 
envy, jealousy, immorality. I will stop there. Stretch your hands and open your mouth. Say any spirit operating in any part of your body. Tell them out. Please, command them out. Command demon out. Say like you mean it. You know yourself. What you want to do is not what you do. Say it to yourself. What you say is not what you want to say, but you find yourself saying it. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Any spirit operating. You say, my body is shaking. Command it out. Anything that is not of God, command it out. Any spirit that is not of God, operating inside, outside, out of your system, the cause of disagreement, fights in families, home, organization, out you and clean spirit. Every spirit of witchcraft, see, whereby your marriage is under witchcraft, out you witchcraft, see, out in the name of Jesus, spirit of definition, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus, you spirit of definition, out in the name of Jesus, so sorry spirit, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus, nightmare, you sleep men are chasing you, nightmare spirit, out in the name of Jesus, out in the name of Jesus, eating in the dream, some have eaten in the dream. Whatever poison you may have eaten from the table of your enemy, out in the name of Jesus, out of your system, out of your body, out you unclean spirit, out you Satan, in the name of Jesus. Everything that is not planted by God, as it is written, Matthew 15, 13, anything that the Lord have not planted, out of your system, out of your system, out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, break family limitation. There are limitation in family, they have set. There is some area you aspire to go there, but you cannot reach there. That is a limitation set. Don't just watch. This may be your day. This may be your time. Every limitation, family limitation, some are clan limitation, nation limitation. Every limitation be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Every limitation, circle of hardship, poverty, miscarriages, disadvantage, be broken in the name of Jesus. Every limitation, family limitation, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Nation limitation, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Vicinity limitation. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Father, I bless your name. I have only said what you put in my heart. To you be the glory. It's my prayer that this word find a place in the midst of heart of your people. Touch them. Draw them closer to yourself. Jesus, I'm just a vessel. I bring them back to you. Lead them in all truth. Let your glory be revealed. Those who are sick, touch them. Heal them. Deliver them. Those who have pain, press your hand where pain is. Every pain, every sick body, wherever is pain, I say to that pain, this is the body of the Holy Spirit. Pain. Out of that body. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Sickness, disease. Be flushed out of the body. Be flushed out in the name of Jesus. I release you all. I deliver you. I declare you healed. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. May God bless you. May God confirm his word by giving you a testimony. Praise God. Love you. Ibrahim, your brother. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much, Baba Ibrahim. Recording start. Sharing the word of God with us. God continue to bless you. Brothers and sisters. May God bless you. May God bless you. 
Send us your prayer requests. We'll stand with you in prayer. God bless you. Love you. Abraham. Yes, Amen. May God Father, bless in the you. name of Jesus, we thank you for your servant. We thank you for Lord. How great you have used you. Father, we bring you we bless you, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for every that has come up for him. May you restore him. Double in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your anointing continue to use it, Lord. Continue to open his eyes that you will see things that are beyond this May you open his ears to hear you clearly. And may you use the grace, O Lord, that through him, Lord, you will draw men unto yourself. You will draw souls unto yourself. You will, Lord, let the sick be healed that your name will be glorified. Father, we pray that you continue to protect him. You continue to bless him. Lord, we pray that you will continue to cause him to be stronger, stronger in every aspect of his life. That he will come boldly and be blessed. That says the Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for his life. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus, for you. A God, and there is none like you. May your name be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless amen. you. Brothers and sisters, amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we thank God for how far you have brought us.